Hey everybody, you're stranded at home, uh, but that's no excuse not to eat oysters. Uh, I'm gonna show you a really simple recipe. It's our oyster sliders from Island Creek Oyster Bar. I think what I've done is figure out, this is probably everything that you have at home, so it should be pretty easy to figure out. First thing you need to do though is order Island Creek oysters from Island Creek. They're awesome. They come with a little card. CJ is gonna show you how to shuck them, really easy. They show you how to store them, so no, uh, easy to do, no problems there. Make sure you have an oyster knife to shuck your oysters. So, oyster sliders, one of our most popular items at Island Creek Oyster Bar. We sell so many of them. So I just wanna show you guys how to make it. So close to how we do it at the restaurant, even though we don't have exactly all the ingredients, but pretty close. Um, obviously we need oysters, um, which we have. I shucked a few already and we're gonna bread them because they're gonna get fried. So just. Show you a quick breading for oysters. I breaded a few already, but just to show you a little bit of flour. It's a little coat in some flour. Shake off the extra in egg. Just coat it in a little bit of egg. And then in a little bit of breadcrumb. These are panko breadcrumbs. Try to get them chopped fine, but any, any breadcrumb will work. It doesn't need to be panko. And then what I do is the secret here is I go back from the breadcrumb back into the egg one time back into the breadcrumb, that's double breading. That's gonna give them a really nice, crispy outside, really crispy texture, okay? So we have our breaded oysters, and then we also have our other ingredients. We have our pickled onions. These are what the onions look like before they're pickled, this is after. It's just vinegar and sugar. We have our little bit of uh, spicy mayonnaise. I just did regular mayonnaise, some sriracha, a little bit of lemon. Just mix it up, make it taste the way you want. If you want it extra spicy, Put in extra sriracha. If you don't like it spicy, put in whatever you want. If you just like lemon, put in lemon. A little bit of arugula if you don't have that, you don't need it. Or some bib lettuce or some iceberg. And of course, our oysters. So let's come on over here. We're going to fry these up. The key ingredient in an oyster slider is your bun. So these are slider rolls from the restaurant. Obviously, you probably won't have those at home. But what you can do is buy little slider rolls at the grocery store. store. Uh, the potato rolls are really good. Or just cut down a hamburger bun. Anything will work, really. Um, this is straight canola oil or vegetable oil work great. You want it about 350 degrees. Oh, look at those fry. Delicious. Well, those are frying. Just got our buns here. Just a little bit of melted butter in the pan, really easy. We just want to toast these just a little bit. Make them warm and a little bit of buttery. All right, we're toasting our buns. We're frying our oysters. Everything's coming together. You know, shellfish is really healthy. It's really delicious. You know, I think we all love raw oysters, or most of us do. Um, but, you know, cooked oysters are just as easy uh, to make. Just And now you're at home and we have the time. So let's fry some oysters. So we're just going to fry them a little bit on both sides. They're going to end up getting nice and golden brown. And then just, you know, a slotted spoon or a slotted, you know, this is a little bit of a spider to kind of flip these over. Be really careful with the hot oil. You know, you just wanna make sure you're, don't burn yourself. You can just see, the, you know, the butter's just bubbling there. We don't want a real brown, just a nice little toast. You know, you see how kind of quickly, if you got your oil right, nice and breaded. They, these fry up pretty quickly, so it's easier than you think. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's pull a couple of these out. Just see, lightly brown. Nothing too much there. A couple of those ready. Again, just real careful pulling your oysters out. You see how long that took? Not long at all. Wow. 
Wow. Turn your oil off. Do a little salt. Everything is better with salt. Okay. Now, the fun part. So we have our pickled onion. All we're gonna do is take the bottom of the bun, put a little bit of our sauce on there. A couple of arugula leaves. Again, if you don't have arugula, no big deal. One fried oyster, just a pickled onion. Shake off the excess liquid from the pickled onions. You just don't want those to get soggy if they sit for a minute. And just a couple. I like red onions usually for pickling, but white are fine, Spanish. If you have shallots, shallots are great to pickle. The pickle is just, you know, you put a little chopped bread and butter dill pickle on there as well. The pickle is just a nice acid and crunch on there. Okay. Awesome. How easy is that? Oyster sliders, ready to go. If you make one, let me know how it comes out.